one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Undying Returns Elusive Target for 2024. It's the first time we've seen this elusive target for five and a half years now since Hitman 2. So it's, just, it's good to have him back, it's good to play him again. In this video I'll be covering three silent assassin methods. First method is going to be for newer players, it's going to be a de default loadout method as if you have no equipment, it's the first time you're playing. This method is for you, it's a guaranteed silent assassin for method 1. Method 2 is also a default loadout method, however it's a little bit more riskier, but it is also still pretty easy. Uh, but um, for method 3 we're going to be doing a quick, easy, solid uh, silent assassin. For those of you who have a gas device and a fish, uh, with the fish I'll be showing you the uh, dolphin exit. So. That will be a nice little bonus for you as well there. So that's all three methods. The little timestamps will be in the description. Uh, so for method one, again, default loadout. Away we go. Inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Now, you only have one start location for this elusive target, they never changed it, so you've only still got one uh, start location for this. And it gives you a lot of help for this one as well, so she actually gives you a lot of advice in the briefing, and she gives you uh, like a mission story there as well, which you can follow, which only just takes you to the, the meeting itself. But what I want you to do is go into this area over here, and put on this disguise. Just uh, be careful of that, it's a guy that's in the room at the time when you're putting it on making sure that he has his back turned to you. Next step is to shoot out that camera. Don't worry about that guard over there with the question mark above his head. But once you've done that and taken out that camera, which is really important, make sure you talk to this guy right here. You need to talk to this guy, otherwise you won't be able to get upstairs legally. So make sure you are talking to this guy fully and you're wearing this outfit to get up there uh, and bypass all that stuff. So once you've done that, and once he's finished his um, line of dialogue, you can go ahead and run upstairs because we need to set a few things up we're actually not attending the meeting so there we go on the top of the stairs is going to be an engineer which is also an enforcer but he has his back to you uh, most of the time so make sure that uh, he has his back to you before you bar go past him once you're up here go into this room this office id close the door behind you now, in this room over here, don't go in because it's a trespassing zone, so make sure you stay in this room. That guy there with a the blue jacket, we're going to make sure that we wait for him to come into this room here. Once he comes into this room, we are going to knock him out and take his disguise. There he is, that's that's, that's the dude, you don't have to grab that card, but if you want a bit 10 x 10 XP, go for it. But yeah, we have to wait here for 10 seconds or so. Once he comes into the room, make sure you close the door behind him. Once you've done that, go ahead and subdue him. So now he's knocked out, drag his body, 
and just put him here. Don't put him in the crate. Take his disguise. Enter the lab and close the door behind you. Also, close this door here. This is really important. Make sure that door is closed. I'm going to grab this robot arm here. There's two researchers in this area. One of them goes into the server room and one of them heads over here to investigate the, the pen. So what we're going to do is pacify this researcher right here. Go into the server room and do the same thing with this researcher. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab both of these bodies and then put them in the nearby locker. So we're making sure that these both of these bodies are hidden so there's no slip-ups later on. So make sure you both hide both of these two bodies in that locker right there. Now you might be wondering, what do you do with the other body? Now, I'm not going to put them in the crates because they are reserved for two other people a little bit later on. So what we're going to go into do with him is go and fetch him and drag him in this area over here to make sure he's well hidden and well out of the way. Because again, Mark Faber, our target, is going to have two guards following him and we don't want any of these people to find these bodies. So we have to make sure that we are hidden. So we're just going to leave this body in this area over here. No one comes into this area and it's super safe to leave it here. There we go. So that's pretty much everything set up. I'm going to make sure I have that robot arm on me. Where is it? There's one over here. So grab this robot arm, this android arm, as you call it. And we're going to head out onto the corridor. Just make sure this door is closed behind you. That door being closed is super important. So just make sure that door is always closed. And once you've done that, we're going to go and see where Mark Faber is. He's going to be in the conference room. I was going to say convenience room, but he's in the conference room. He should be finishing up his meeting at the moment. And he should be heading out. So where he's actually leading to is the room where we just came from. To meet up with the person oh, I'm dressed as. He has a conversation on the phone right here, and uh, he talks about assassins and stuff like that. But he's being followed by two idiot guards, and we are going to make sure we take them out before we take out our target. Again, this is super simple, and it's really guaranteed to make sure you get the silent assassin. If you're a free starter pack player, or you're just a player that uh, isn't very good at the game yet, or it's just basically just need a little bit of extra advice to help you out. Or for them people that just doesn't have any uh, equipment this type of mission without equipment it is a little bit difficult to get him by himself um, he's always surrounded by a lot of people that's the reason why this is a good opportunity to take him out because um, yeah, that's just the way it is this is the opportunity that the game presented you I don't think there's any other way to make sure to get him on his own really I don't think so so once he goes to this office right here close the door behind you again and go ahead and talk to him Mr. Once you've spoken to him, he's going to head into the lab area to the left. I know the designs I sent were unique, but I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Once he goes in there, he's obviously going to be followed by his guards. We're going to get behind this guard right here and do a silent attack on him, pacify him once the other guard turns his back to you. So go ahead and knock him out. And then put his body in the crate. Retrieve the pistol that he drops on the floor. Take out your coin and throw it over there um, by this crate right here. That will distract the guard that's in the lab. He will come to investigate. And we're going to close this door and knock him out. Leave the body there for now. Go into the lab. And either you can do two things really. You can either... Uh, eliminate him with a pen, or you can use your fiber wire if you'd like to be more traditional. It's completely up to you. I use the pen purely because he's wearing an eye patch, and I thought shoving it in his eye again would be quite fun. Um, so yeah, once we've done that, we're going to hide this body in the crate as well. We can retrieve the pistol if you want to, but once you've done that, you've hidden all the evidence. No one goes in that lab. Make sure that, making as long as that door is closed anyway. Uh, just on your way out, just make sure you avoid Enforcer right there, which is Robert Knox. He's the main target from the main mission. Just make sure you avoid him uh, because he is an Enforcer. And if he spots you, you're going to ruin your silent assassin rating. So just make sure you avoid him. Uh, but from this point, we're just going to head straight to an exit. And it's just as easy as that. So whether you're a new player, whether you're an experienced player with no equipment, or you're just looking for a guy that's guaranteed to get you the silent assassin level, 
uh, then this method will be perfect for you because I can't see where you could go wrong other than something happening like a glitch or something like that. I don't know. But uh, overall, it's just super easy, super simple. And uh, if this method is not for you, or it's a bit too uh, too long for you or whatever, you can check out method two and method three and see if you like those any bit any better. But the yeah, exit is right here. So now we can move on to method two. Method two, again, we're using the default loadout. So it's, it's a standard pistol, fiber wire and coin. Again, we can only start from the start location, so that's what we're going to do. If you're wondering, this is the Undying Suit, so you get this after you've actually completed the Elusive Target, or if you purchase the the Undying Pack, which has just been released today, which is also a DLC. So, what we're going to do for this one, we are actually going to make sure we go into this coat check area and put on the Engineer Disguise. And putting this disguise on is only purely just so we can talk to Dave Reddy so he can, can trigger his conversation um, because if we don't then Mark Faber upstairs doesn't finish his meeting and he doesn't leave that room and he really, we need him to leave the room that he's in and the only way to do that is by sending this guy up to that room he will start his meeting he'll finish it and then he will exit the room and if he doesn't so if you don't do this he's up there and he's just in a loop of going in and out of the room outside and then back inside so we need to make sure that we do talk to him and finish that conversation so we need that disguise on at the moment to make sure that happens so that's the reason why we just did all that so once we've done that what we're going to do now is come on over here we're going to take out this camera take this crowbar right here on the floor and crack open this gate right here which is locked we're going to head on all the way up to the top of the stairs just be careful when you're at the top there's going to be a guard up there guarding the door that we need to get through so what we're actually going to do is actually take his disguise. We're going to knock him out. So from this point, we're going to take out our coin, chuck it in the corner over there. And then we're going to go ahead and knock him out with a crowbar. I recommend throwing it at him. Just in case this might happen. <laughs> you face to the door. I've never seen that happen before. You need to be careful because there's a person in that room. There she is. Take his disguise. Make sure you take his weapon as well. We don't want her to see that when we open the door. Retrieve our coin. There we go. We won't be changing outfits from here on out. We're going to come through this window and climb up the pipe. And the reason why we're doing it and going up this way is because if we take the stairs, there's going to be an enforcer on the stairs to this disguise. I'll point him out. He's just through this wall. There he is. And uh, once, if if we go without that stairway, he's going to see us. So that's the reason why we went up the pipe. In this area, there's going to be an enforcer here, but you just make sure you just avoid him and grab the Mark Faber files that are sitting on the desk. Once you've done that, we're going to go and retrace our steps and go back the way we came. But just before we do that, we are going to take out the evidence. So if you did get spotted by any cameras, or if you are worried about any cameras, you can come in this room and destroy the evidence right here. Just make sure that no one's looking at you while you're doing it. Once you've got the cordon erased on your screen, we can head back out to where we came through, through the storage room, and we're going to jump over the railing on the other side. Make sure you come to the middle part of the railing, otherwise you won't be able to jump over. Once you've dropped down, we're going to jump through this, uh, through this, not jump through the room, but run through the room and head into the uh, this office over here. Once we're in this office, well, it's not an office, it's a research lab. But once we're here, we're going to need to scan these Mark Faber files, but don't do it until everyone's got their back to you, because it's an illegal action. I don't think it used to be. That's the reason why I, I popped it up on the screen there, just to check. But don't scan this until everyone has the back to you. There we go. So now everyone has turned the back. We can scan it. So what the robot's going to do, this is what happens. We've scanned a picture of Mark Faber. And what that's going to happen is Mark Faber is going to come into this research lab a little bit later on to have a look at it. And the robot's going to shoot him. And that is it. And th that's what the robot does. So it's going to take care of the kill for us, and it's going to be an accident kill. So if you didn't know, accident kills, even with body found, you can still retain your silent assassin rating. Now with this guy right here, we're, we're following closely because he's an enforcer, and if we run past, he's going to get us spotted, and we're going to spoil our silent assassin rating. So we're going to make sure that we avoid him, and then retrace our steps, and go back the way we came, and then head on to the exit. So that's it. You've set everything up. All we need to do now is just wait at the exit for all the, everything to take care of itself. And it's just as simple as that. It's really, really easy and quite simple. 
So the only tricky steps really is just um, making sure you don't get spotted when you're collecting the Mark Faber files. But that is uh, another method of way of taking them out. But if you can, you can hang around if you want to and watch it all take place. But uh, it really doesn't matter that much. But if this was your first time playing, you want to actually see everything. I'd recommend just waiting around and having a look and watch what happens. But you need to wait around at this gate for a while. Um, I remember I hit my two, it took about 10 minutes, but this you should take a couple of minutes. There you go. Took about a minute and a half of me waiting here. And then once you're exited here, you'll get a nice silent assassin rating for you. Easy as that. Now for the trusty old fast method for method 3, we're going to bring along the briefcase and have the remote emetic gas device stored inside the briefcase. You unlock the gas device, I think at mastery level 10, on Haven Island. Now you want to bring along the fish as well, if you want the dolphin exit, I'll show you how to do that. So if how to activate the emetic gas device in the briefcase, this is what you need to do. Go into your inventory, retrieve item out of the briefcase with the emetic gas device, open the inventory window up again, conceal item on the briefcase, and then make sure you conceal in the emetic gas device. There you go. You'll hear a beep and it will be armed. Avoid all these fountain points. We don't want to touch any of them until the end of the mission. So make sure you avoid all those. We don't want to interrupt anything that could spoil the dolphin exit. So make sure you do that. Jump into this uh, area here and grab the Kronstadt engineer disguise. We're going to use this to get upstairs. Again, we need to talk to uh, this guy right here. But before we do that, we need to make sure we take out this camera. Talk to Dave Reddy. Again, if you don't know, you need to make sure you talk to this guy, otherwise you can't get upstairs to the meeting. Uh, it will be illegal. So you need to make sure you talk to this guy, because he's going to be the person that basically gets you in. So we need to make sure we're wearing this disguise too as well, otherwise, again, he won't let you do, lead you up. But yeah, if you heard a beep when you put that emetic gas device back in your briefcase, you know it's armed and you know it's ready. So from this point, all we've got to do is make sure that we don't get spotted by the engineer at the top of the stairs. He is the only enforcer in the area. So we take a left. We're going to head straight to the meeting now. This is super quick. This is super simple and straightforward if you've got the medic gas device. Take out the medic gas detonator. And then walk up to Mark Faber and just trigger it in his face. You'll have a big green gas put a cloud in right in his face right there. And now we're just going to wait in, wait in the bathroom. This is where he's going to head. Gonna open the door for him, and then close the door behind him. And then all we gotta do is just go ahead and drown him. You can firebore him if you like. You can snap his neck and hide him in the the. the it's not a locker, is it? It's a cupboard or a wardrobe, closet, whatever you want to call it. But if you did drown him, go ahead and leave the body there, because it's an accident kill. Any other kill, make sure you hide his body. We're going to leave the briefcase there, because I'm not sure if it interferes with the exit or not. Now we're going to need to take out our fish, and have the fish in your hand. This is where the dolphin exit comes into play. So, if this is the first time you're doing the dolphin exit, this is what you need to do. Once you're outside, you need to make sure the fountain that's spurting on the screen right now is the one that's spurting out for you. If it is, go ahead and run through it, and then run through this one. You need to do this really quickly as well. And then the third one is going to be over here. The fourth one is going to be right in front of you. Fifth is what one is here. And as soon as you run through this final one, you'll have the exit pop before you right at the end. Now, if that doesn't work, just try the same sequence again. And again, if you can't get it to work, just head to any other exit. It really does not matter. I just thought this would be a good exit to get out of there much faster. And yeah, there we go. So that is how you get a really fast, super easy, super assassin. I was going to say super assassin, but it's not super assassin, is it? A super easy silent assassin, that's what I wanted to say. Those three challenges at the end there are just basically just to make sure you take out the target. And once you've completed this, you'll unlock the suit that I've been using throughout all three of these missions. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Click the bell icon and click all notifications to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description of how to join the membership agency. I appreciate all the support recently. These are all the credits of all the people that have been supporting me. Thank you very much. I shall see you next video. Cheers.